but it's weird, you know, and it, it, it I guess it's the trade-off because I can't club in the places that I used to as much because it's just, and it's not that I mind the attention because I've always got time for people that have time for me, you know, and I have to have time for my fans and be patient no matter what mood I'm in or how bad my day has been or how much sleep I haven't had. But um, if I go to West End clubs, I tend to just get a table, be looked after and not really get bothered apart from when I leave with whoever I leave with, which then ends up in the papers and rumours start. Well, you, if you're getting snapped, you're talking about girls, aren't you? You're getting snapped with girls. Yes. And rumours are going to start that you're dating them, but yeah. often they're just mates? Sometimes they're mates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you single? I am. Uh, I am, I'm single, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, I don't know, it's really hard to maintain a relationship when you don't have time to see someone, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like... I don't know, it's, it's a horrible feeling of guilt when you can't give someone what they need, you know. And the person that I was with prior to, to now being single was, you know, we're, we're still really close. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't able to fulfil her needs the same way she couldn't mind because we weren't with each other. Mm -hmm. And it's just torment, you know, it's not fair for, for anyone to go through that. That's so painful. Yeah. 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 Nothing I would complain about, though, to be honest with you, because I love what I do, you know, and it's part of the parcel. I've got to work the hours I work now to succeed in what I want to do and I'm driven. I want to succeed and I want to make sure that I've got some sort of longevity. I don't want to be a flash in the pan. No, we hope not. Um, you mentioned there that, well you mentioned earlier that you've got a bit of downtime at the moment, but it's all set well, to get a little bit busy again. No, I haven't got any downtime. No. I just, I'm, I just <laughs> managed to get a good couple of nights sleep which I, and I do feel like a new person for it. It's amazing. The depression's gone away, I feel great. But um, yeah, no, I just, my managers were in here before you were, and we went through the schedule for the next, I think, two or three months, and I've got two days off and 40 days solid on. I've got this Sunday, then I've got 40 days solid work, and most of that is shows. Yeah. So. And this is the tour as well. Oh, this, no, you've got a tour coming in October. Yeah, but I'm on the road prior to that doing yeah. all the uni balls and the fresher parties, which <laughs> I'm dreading, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. I'm just I'm really enjoying performing the music because now people have the album and they know the songs. You know, they really, really, really get into it. You know, because a lot of the time when you're performing to people that don't know the music, they vibe to the beat, but they spend a lot of time listening. So they're not just, you know, they're not letting go and just getting into the vibe. Whereas now they know the music, the energy they give me, I can give them back, and the shows have been amazing. Yeah, um, I was gonna say when you're at those kind of events, say a uni ball. Yeah. Do you do you get quite drunken people trying to maybe have some stage action themselves or apparently when I was I haven't done any freshers gigs yet but when I was at festival um, just a couple of days ago which was the last festival for me this summer and it was a brilliant way to round it off I'd done the big top at 11.30 at night everyone was off their heads and it was incredible but um, I didn't know this until afterwards but two people managed to get on stage and had to be removed I didn't see them I had no idea I found that afterwards but I found that quite funny I did also have Amy Winehouse jump on stage. Of course. Yeah, completely unplanned. You know, it was very spontaneous. A little more scary that happening. Yeah, it was cool, you know, because I, I saw her to the side of the stage and she was just, you know, having a little dance and enjoying the show. And then Just Be Good to Green started and she was standing right behind my DJ who told me afterwards, she went, oh, I like this one, and just jumped on stage, run right past me, was next to my back and singer Katie. She grabbed one of the mics and just started singing. It was wicked. 